Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. But uh, I like it because it has a nice mix. It's not, there's really no white on there, so I could really place a folder anywhere. And, you know, it would show up just fine. Where'd you get the so wallpaper on? Yeah, it's a really nice setup there. Wall, the wallpaper I got from DeviantArt because for some reason I can't really find it when customized, but I think uh, the guy, I'm not sure the username, but I know the name, you know, Nexus 5. You can see it right here. He's got the nice label, but it doesn't interfere with the background really, so it's not really a distraction. So that's the background, and the theme, uh, I'll open up the website. It's uh, crystalxp.net. Do you need a and theme software to use nope, that, or nope? This is its own software, and and but let me make a note that I can't type and move around stuff while I have my mouse button clicked because I have mouse five assigned to chat. So bear with me. Okay, you go to crystalxp.net, go under Brico packs, and it, you don't need window blinds. It doesn't cost a dime, and with Vista Inspirat two. This is something that kind of bugged me at first because this was it was the uh, Vista looking skin, but I noticed and it almost looks exactly like it with the exception that the start menu doesn't really go oversized. But what's cool about it is you can choose you can choose between Vista, the Vista looking, and the skin that I have right now, and it's very simple, might I add. There's no additional setting. You just go into your properties. Just change it. And you're on Windows XP right now. Yep. Yes, I am. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. That's pretty cool. And as yeah, you can protocol. see, and even it even shows this icon right here. That's something that almost no skin ever ever provide. What's the name of that website again? CrystalXP.net, and it includes Rocket Dog, which I've come to like. We can't see Rocket Dog because it's ultra tree? blended. Ooh, that's right. Um, okay, well, just as a note then, I have Rocket Dock right up above here, like, you know, with the exception of Mac typically being on the bottom. I have Rocket Dock on the top right here. And Rocket Dock is, is the, essentially... Is the top right corner or is it in the center? It's in the top. It's in the top center, and uh, I'm All surprised. Right. Well, Rocket Dock is, is like it, the dock for OS X only on... Windows, which I find weird because you always see Windows people trying to make Windows machines look like a Mac, but you never, ever see a, an OS X user try to make their computer look like Windows. Uh, that's because if they want I Windows, they can you just there, do Chris. Why would you? Because I tried making my Mac like that this summer because I missed Windows so much because I, I couldn't get used to the old Panther Mac OS X, you know? Yeah, I guess to each his own, or her right. own, I guess. Stop it, please. Bingo, Whoever's please. blowing into the microphone, please stop. That's Ben, ben Gold. Gold. That is I think he needs Ben. Yeah, Ben Gold's a troublemaker. I gotta yeah. clean up some of my stuff, though. But I guess that's pretty much it. It's just crystalxp.net is where you can get the skin. It's called Vista Inspirat 2. And if you want the same exact one that I have, then uh, you just go to the settings and choose... Inspirat as opposed to Inspirat 2. And it does include Rocket Talk, you know, all the settings. It, everything's free. This background is my favorite one. I've used it forever. And the guy that makes it actually has a different background too, if I can find it in my pictures. So, do you guys like using GoToMeeting to share each other's desktops like this? I, I yeah, love it. Seems oh, yeah, it's awesome. it's awesome. I it's it. so much better than remote desktop. Okay, I have a folder it's here really of good. all of his backgrounds, or most of them. Yeah, it's definitely good. Hey, can, hey, can somebody uh, post the last background that was pink and blue? I think. Paint from Marlboro. Uh, go to chat. That's me. We did. Yeah. Okay, so the wallpaper, yeah, there's Q Nexus 5, then there's Q's Mindbender, which is also another one of my favorite backgrounds, but I just don't use it as much. But I, what do you guys think of this one? I like. I think that was that was cooler. Yeah. I don't like the brown in it. Protocol. Protocol. I was gonna make a note though. If you want the true Vista theme, you gotta get Vista. 
<laughs> I don't want Vista. <laughs> I'm not looking to get Vista. Not That's why I have uh, Inspirat. Vista. This is like a. It's bit basically as it says. You know, it's an. It's inspired by the first beta, but it doesn't look like it. It's just the same idea. And I've try. I every now and then I might think, oh, there might be a new layout out there that I might like. But I always end up coming back to Inspirat no matter what. Yeah, I was the same way with uh, Windows Classic. No doubt about it. Uh, anyway. Really appreciate you showing off your screen protocol. I know you get a lot of people asking you about it when you do your screencasts. And if anybody else has any interesting recommendations for cool desktops or themes, certainly would welcome them. Uh, we were using GoToMeeting to network into Protocol's desktop, and we'll be doing that more frequently here. Uh, and if you have any questions or suggestions, remarks, whatnot, leave a comment, a follow-up, or email me. Chris at Perillo.com. I'd love to meet you virtually. Uh, as long as you've got something to give back to the community, as Protocol is doing right now. Uh, and, of course, you can also join us in our chat room anytime, day or night, live, 24 hours a day, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.